Hey traders, John Howell here and in this video we are going to talk about stock market update where I think what's happening right now in the actual stock market. I'm going to give you a silver and gold update and especially silver, why I like silver. I'm also going to be talking about the GDXJ and a trade that I'm looking at. I'm also going to give you an update on Bitcoin and why I think it's time for the rise of Bitcoin, short term anyway. Um, also, the biggest stock that I'm looking to short right now, the, the, one of the stocks that I'm looking to short right now, and also a trade. I'm going to give you all the details to a trade that I did recently where I got out of literally uh, today, which was a 300% return. And so, and my private clients also got a 200% return, or one of my private clients got a 200% return. I'm going to walk you through all the details and all that in today's market update. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty guys, so let's get straight into what I have promised you. Firstly, market update on the market. It's just a quick little update what's going on right now with their stocks and the Dow Jones. Firstly, the Dow Jones has continued to continue to slowly, slowly rise. And with these markets, when we start to get these markets that look like this, right, we can see we have a low, the market breaks up, and then it comes back down and found support. Now the market likes to do this. And in that free trading course with the very first link in the description below, You'll be able to see I talk a lot about that and also another a lot of other techniques as well. You can see we have resistance here, resistance here, and then the break up, and then the break down, and then the break, and then, then the move, uh, then the uh, the move uh, moving forward through there. So you can see how we found a lot of support, and then we've actually broken up. So right now we can actually see that um, that the stock market right now. I actually have a projection around that 95, 95,500 level. So it looks like it's on its way up there and possibly even more. If I look at the S&P, it's actually continued to rise from here, this little breaking, breaking point, and then a nice rise we've seen all this time. The problem that most people have when trading these markets is as you can see, this is a daily bar and just going through this slowly and surely and just being patient with it, it's probably one of the most hardest things that most traders have to go through, right? They expect quick, fast action. And when the market doesn't do that, that's where your impatience really, 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 really starts to put you off center. So that's what's going on right now with the actual stock market. And uh, I expect to see a, um, a lot more bullishness out of the actual stock market as well. Um, if we go to, let's go to the SPY here for a minute. Yeah, I don't expect any reversal, not yet anyway. Um, once we start to see, once we start to see uh, um, um, a lot more of a rise out of this, then, um, then I think we're probably likely to get a bit to a bit more of a topping action there. So, it'll be really interesting to see what's going to go on there. Moving on now through to silver and gold. Now, what's happened through here with the actual silver and gold market? First, so we've had this rise up through here. Okay, a very very nice rise, and we're getting a bit of a pullback right now, which is good. Okay, which is okay. If I bring a Fibonacci tool from this low through this high point, then I would expect somewhere down to a fifty percent, possibly even down to a sixty percent Fibonacci level before creating some sort of higher low and then continuing up from there. So gold's looking really, really, really strong right now. When we're, when we're looking at this though, and you can see how that the 50% level has indeed got a lot of support around this level through here. We can also see that the that that this level through here has also got a lot of support. So as gold starts to pull back, if I bring up say the hourly chart, as gold starts to pull back into these areas here, we're going to find a lot of support through there. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Also moving on now through to uh, silver itself. Silver's doing the same thing as well too. We had a bit of a rise, but I think this rise, this, this pullback here that we're getting right now is probably likely to be short-lived out of the market. Uh, we came up, we made, we uh, you can see how we made a higher high to this high and also a higher high to this high as well too. So. This pullback here is, uh, I believe, is probably likely to be short-lived before we start to continue up from there. So that's what I'm looking at through there, guys. Really interesting stuff to see what's happening with silver and gold. We've been pretty much in this sideways range. We still haven't broken out, and we've been in sideways range now for quite some time. Once we do start to really break out, like I'm going to talk about in the GDXJ, we can see here, pretty much nothing going on. We had a little rise, but then having a bit of a pullback right now. But the overall pattern is pretty much sideways for the last one, two, three, four, five, and almost say five and a half, probably even close to six months. 
Now, if this can stay intact and we hold him, we start to break up, then that's going to see some. That's going to see something really, really exciting and a trade that I'll probably be looking at. And I'd probably want to see a nice rise up towards that 50 plus level, uh, probably even up to 52 level. So that's a trade that I'm looking at personally. Uh, but I need to wait. I need to see what actually forms here. If we continue down from here, then the trade's off, and I won't be placing any trade. But if we hold here and we start to compress, we start to compress up into this overall triangle pattern here and then we break out oh my goodness guys that is just music to my ears absolutely love it so that's what i'm looking at there with the gdxj the next thing that i promised to talk about today was bitcoin why i see the rise of bitcoin and if you guys have been watching my videos for the last um for the last uh sort of couple of uh, last a couple of weeks, I've been talking about how Bitcoin might be might be forming some sort of end of trend indicator, and it looks like we're going to start to break out. That's exactly what's been happening through here. We have been started to break up, and we've been breaking out of this level through here. So I see, I see this this is happening right now. So I definitely see Bitcoin probably starting to hold here. We're probably likely to see some really really nice action coming out of Bitcoin right now, and we're probably likely to race back up towards this thirteen thousand dollar level. And that and that might happen pretty quickly, or it might be a stair stepping uh, function through here. We can see how we now we did have. Let's go to this level here, right? We did have a lot of support level down through to here. Okay, so down through to there. It came down, broke down, now we're breaking up and we're breaking up out of both of this resistance line through here and this support line through here. Support, came down, support, went down, now we're breaking up again. So really, really, really exciting news. Unless we start to, unless we start to really turn around and come back down, then it's probably some sort of, uh, some sort of just a continuation move. But uh, due to the fact that we had a very strong move up and a very weak move down, I believe Bitcoin is probably getting ready to have a very nice move up from there. Uh, and probably looking at, at at a at a minimum target of around that. Let's go and have a look at this level. This level through here somewhere. So around about that level. Uh, if I squeeze my chart ups, so a minimum target would be around about say that twelve thousand level, uh, possibly even higher once we start to really really gallop up, and we start to possibly even get up towards these high levels. I would say, which is around that thirteen thousand dollar level um, from there. Bit, I want to get a bit more of a conservative target would be around the 12 and a half, but probably like to overshoot towards that $13,000 level. So the rise of Bitcoin, I do see this being a bit of a bottom pattern and we're likely to continue up and continue rising from there. So that's what I'm looking at from there. Now guys, one thing I also want to share with you is one stock that I'm actually looking to short and that is Boeing. Uh, Boeing right now is definitely, you've been doing pretty much nothing with Boeing for quite some time through here. And I'm getting really, 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 really excited with Boeing. I think once Boeing actually breaks, we're probably not only are we likely to, if we break this say 320 level, then we're probably likely to start to see a pretty quick move down to 270. Uh, we might get a little bounce at 270, but then ultimately I see this thing continuing, continuing back down to say 150 overall. I think this is a massive, massive topping pattern through here. And if we start to break down, I think this is going to be a very nice, nice move on the downside. So I'm looking to short the crap out of Boeing only because it's a technical. I know fundamentally they've been having a lot, a lot of problems through there. But technically, I'm really, really liking this. But I need to see my confirmation. So it's not a trade for me yet. I'm not going to get in and preempt. I'm going to wait for a confirmation. Um, and then once that happens, guys, if I do get my confirmation, I'm going to load up big time on this one here because I'm really, really, really excited about that. So that's what I'm really excited about, guys. I'm really, really looking forward to. Now, the very last thing I wanted to talk about was my 300% return trade that I did just recently, and that was on Goldman Sachs. On Goldman Sachs just recently, um, I got in on right here on this move up, and I even did a, uh, I did a coaching call with, with my private clients this morning, and that's how I found out about one of my other private clients was actually in this as well too, which is fantastic. So I got in on this breakout here, um, and it did nothing. I've been in it. I've been in it now for what's that there? Yeah, just over a month. And as of today, it's probably it could probably it might be able to continue up. But I bought an out of the money option, and I bought it for. Let me just double check here. Um, I bought it for thirty. Let me just double check here. Um, all right, 
right, so just double checking. Yeah, so I bought it for 35 cents, the option, and then I sold it for $1.40, which is around 300% return, uh, which is absolutely just fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. And uh, and I'm really, really excited there. And also, my, one of my other private clients was in this here. He got out a couple of days ago, and uh, he also picked up to 200% return. So I'm so, so, so proud of my private clients and where they're at right now and what they're doing. And um, I'm just so, so, so excited for that. So um, if you'd like to join my coaching program, then just email me at hal, H-O-W-E-L-L, trader at gmail.com, and I'll email you all the details. I've just opened up a few spots. So if you're interested in that, just let me know, and um, I'll give you all the details to that. So just email me at howtrader at gmail.com. And last on the list, guys, that I want to share with you is Tesla. Um, Tesla was one, if you guys remember, if I bring up my YouTube channel, you'll be able to see that I did a video uh, a while ago back on Tesla, and Tesla was one of the stocks that uh, that I actually said would probably like it to rise uh, up through here if I bring up the... This one right here. We'll see that. All right. So if I bring this up through here, you can see this is the. Uh, let me just bring this through here. Right. This is uh, this video here I did, which was on the December the 11th, and you can also see that um, that you can see where where Tesla was at that time. You can see how it was pretty close to that sort of pretty much or oh, about 350 level. You can see where there, and um, and I was just doing analysis on there. And, um, and I said that we're it Tesla stock $500 tar target there. And you can see how I did the target and why I thought it was going to get the $500 there. And, um, and as you can see, that's what it looked like there. Um, and so we're around that 350 before the breakout above 380. And you can see what happened right now. We actually did break out. That was where the video was and where I, where it was a really, really nice, um, sort of, sort of a trade to get into. And, um, and a very nice rise of the 500. We've actually continued up from there. Um, so we've had a very, very nice rise out of, out of Tesla. If you are looking to get into Tesla, right now is the wrong time to get into it, okay? We've had a very big move up and we're probably likely to see some sort of a pullback. So don't chase the market, don't chase the market, don't chase the market. It's the wrong thing to do if you're looking to get into the markets, okay? It's something I was telling my private clients this morning as well too. So there's a quick little, or there's an update for you guys across the broad of, of what I'm seeing right now. Hope you enjoy these videos and I'll see you next time.